Hi there, and welcome to this video on GCSE Biology for the AQA specification, focusing on the topic of animal tissues, organs and organ systems, and in particular having a look at cancer. I'm Shumana from StudyMind, where we help you revise GCSE Biology with our helpful video tutorials, tailored to your subject, your specification, and to you. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button. Whilst you are watching, please leave any comments below if you're unsure about anything and let us know if it's your first time watching our videos so we can send you our free revision materials. We also have helpful timestamps below for each part of the video to help guide you through the specification. So let's get started. Hi all and welcome to tutorial 7 of 7 in which we'll be looking at cancer. So in previous tutorials in this um, seminar, we've been looking at various organs and organ systems. And in our previous tutorial, what we did was we looked at the impact of various lifestyle factors on non-communicable disease. And so following quite nicely on from that, we're going to take a look at cancer. And specifically, we're going to look at the disease process that is behind cancer. So we're going to look at the mutations involved in it and we're going to differentiate between benign and malignant tumours and finally we're going to explore some sampling. So first of all let's just talk a little bit about cancer. So our, we learned in, in a previous tutorial, in the first tutorial in this series actually, that our body is made up of cells and many cells which are specialised to perform a similar function form tissue and tissues come together to form organs and organs come together to form organ systems. So cells are your basic structural unit of your body and we start off with a normal group of cells. Um, but one cell may undergo a change in genetic material which we call a genetic mutation and this may encode for the cell to divide very fast and out of control because remember the gene sequence of each cell governs the proteins that it forms and therefore its activity. So this mutation may cause the cell to divide very fast and very much out of control. And so this one cell or this collection of cells starts dividing and it, they're dividing so fast that they form a big growth of cells and this is what we refer to as a tumour. And so these are multiple of these cells which have a mutation multiple um, units of them that clump together to form this growing mass and you can see here that the tumour is slightly more irregular than the normal cells surrounding it so you can see how the cells are in a regular shape and they're not neatly arranged in rows and columns so this is your tumour a big growth of cells and so Cancer involves this uncontrolled growth and division of cells to form a tumour. So this may occur as a result of a change in the genetic material, which is this genetic mutation that I was talking about, and this is, it's the mutation that leads to the uncontrolled growth and division of cells. And this mutation may make the cell divide very fast and out of control. So again here you can see how there's an irregular pattern here amongst the tumour compared to the normal cells. Look at how regular and nicely arranged the normal cells are. But your tumour cells are larger than your normal cells, they're more irregularly arranged and also you can see them undergoing mitosis over here because they're proliferating really fast. So this is your tumour, this clump of blue cells. And remember a tumour is just this group of cells that are experiencing the uncontrolled growth. So you may have heard the term benign tumour. So benign tumours can form from uncontrolled cell divisions. Now the key thing to remember about benign tumours is that they tend to stay in one place. So often they may be encapsulated by a membrane for example and this means that the tumour cells remain in one place. They stay at their site of origin. And so they tend to not normally be dangerous. So you see, notice how the cells are all grouped together in their locality. So this is your benign tumour. So now let's contrast this with a malignant tumour. So looking at this tumour, it started off as benign. So it's controlled here. It hasn't broken through our basement membrane, which is this section here. 
But as the cancer cells keep dividing, we have these rapidly growing cells that are going to invade through the bracing mem membrane. So see how they've broken down here. And your cancer breaks through this membrane and cancer cells can therefore spread to other parts of the body because they're not contained in the locality anymore. So this means that the tumour is likely to become malignant and spread to cause cancer. So the difference here is that malignant tumours spread from their site of origin, whereas your benign tumours stayed in the same place. So the the way they do this is these malignant tumour cells, they break through your basement membrane, which means that they can spread through the blood, but also the lymphatic system, and they can therefore form secondary tumours, which we refer to as metastases. And so they spread through the blood, through the lymphatics, forming these metastases at distant sites of the body. And this is how a tumour may form, a primary tumour may form a secondary tumour in neighbouring tissues. And so treatment of cancers aims to reduce the primary tumour growth because this is the tumour that is capable of spreading to other areas of the body. So if we can destroy this primary tumour, then we reduce the chance of it causing any secondary tumours. So let's look at an example here. So this is meant to be a tumour in the thyroid gland, which is up in your neck. And so you can see this group of fast proliferating cells. So proliferating just means that they are reproducing very quickly and, and making more copies of themselves via mitosis. And it's malignant, and you can see that because the tumour cells are break breaking through their basement membrane into the bloodstream. And you can see that there are tumour cells in the blood. And they will then spread through the blood to distant sites of the body and form metastases. So your singular form would be an I there instead of the E, but this is your plural form. So um, your tumour cells can spread in the blood to form metastases. So here, for example, your thyroid cancer has, or your cancer cells have been released into the blood, and so we're getting secondary tumour formation in the lungs and the bone. So this is an example of metastases. So this is where the importance of sampling comes in, because we want to find out what, what the risk factors are associated with um, cancer. So the incidence of cancer can be increased by certain factors, and we actually refer to these as carcinogens. So cigarette smoke, ionising radiation, and some types of viral infection can increase the risk of cancer. So for example, infection by the human papilloma virus, HPV, can increase the risk of cervical cancer in women. Also, genes can lead to an increased risk of cancer. So women with the BRCA gene, the BRCA gene, are predisposed to breast cancer, for example. So we call all of these factors carcinogens because they are cancer-causing agents. So that's all for today. We've covered quite a bit, so do go back and re-watch this. It was a little bit complex. Um, but well done, and I'll see you for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching this free video from Study Mind. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to catch our newest videos by clicking below and leave a comment on a topic you'd like a video on. Click here to watch more videos in our series for GCSE Biology or visit our website studymind.co.uk for free past paper compilations by topic and specification.